Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation. We have log 20 minus x equals log x to the third power. And we're going to be solving for x values. First of all, notice that this is not a standard problem. Because we have, even though we have the same basis, we have the cube of the log x, and then we have log 20 minus x on the other side. So, we're going to look at the domain first. Obviously, with log equations, you always want to check the domain because that might give us some ideas. And in some cases, we may not get any solutions. So let's go ahead and check the domain. On the left-hand side, we have 20 minus x. So 20 minus x needs to be greater than 0. By the way, the base is 10 here. It's not written, but that's a common logarithm, so the base is 10. If 20 minus x is positive, that means x is less than 20. And then for the other side, for the right-hand side, we can safely say that x needs to be greater than 0. And this just turns into x is greater than 0. Now we have to combine these with n because they both have to be satisfied at the same time. This means x must be between 0 and 20. Okay, so only for those x values our functions are going to be well defined. Now, we're going to be looking for a solution on this interval. So x is between 0 and 20, and if you were guessing, and since we have the base 10, it would make sense to test 10 here. If you substitute or replace x with 10, you'll notice that we get log 10 on the left-hand side, and then on the right-hand side you get, because 20 minus 10 is 10, log 10 to the third power. Now, are they equal? The answer is yes, because log 10 is equal to 1, and then when you cube it, you're going to get 1 again. So they're equal. It's good. That means x equals 10 is a solution. But the million dollar question is, x equals 10 works, but is that the only solution? Now, here's one thing I want you to notice, and I'm also going to be showing a graph of both of these functions. You'll get, you'll get a better idea. But I want you to notice that log 20 minus x is a decreasing function on this interval. So this function is decreasing. And log x to the third power is increasing on that interval. So we basically have a decreasing function and an increasing function. They're equal. Therefore, there's only going to be one solution. And that happens to be x equals 10. Great, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and see what that looks like. So our graph of both of these functions, when graphed together, it should give us a good idea. Like I said earlier, log 20 minus x, which is the pink, purple, whatever that color is, looking one, it's decreasing. And the other function, log x to the third power, the green one, is increasing and they happen to intersect at 10 comma 1. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.